hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to test your api within your id and this can save you a lot of time and effort so if you are just seeing this youtube channel for the first time please subscribe and click on notification button so i'll be the first person to get notified anytime i drop a new video like this so let's quickly look at some of the api tools we have and this include Postman, Sub UI, Swagger, Insomnia, Bomi, Test Complete, Assertivo. These are just few tools that we have our, or any API tools you are familiar with. If you are the type that love to use Postman, you are great between that. You have to install Postman software on your machine before you be able to use it or visit the web fashion of postman or the same thing applicable to insomnia you have to install it on your system before you are able to use it and if you have the time that not to use swagger you agree with me that swagger does not keep your data so the moment you stop running your app the data you are using to test it's lost as well so anytime you want to retest you just have to re-input the data and this is why some people find it convenient to use Postman because it keeps their data and it does not lost anytime they have to read test. So I am going to show you how to do everything Postman does in this tutorial. Let's quickly see this in action. So guys, this is the project we will be using to test this and to see this in action. So if you have not watched the series of how to create a web API, please, you might need to do so, so that you will see how we created this project. So this is strictly for the, the for, if you're a beginner, right? I would advise you to watch it so that you see how we create this project. So if you are using .NET 8, right? So this, the moment you create your project, this file comes with it by default and you have nothing to worry about if you are still using .NET 6 or .7 so what all what you have to do is to right click on your project solution select add new item then just give it a name so in my case i will, I will use app.http Click on add. So you have added the file that is required to test your API without leaving your ID. So, like I said, so this file, employee record.http, comes with the project. The moment you create a new project in .NET 8, it comes with it by default. You see, Microsoft has simplified, so simplified it for you. So I don't have to add it again. So let's quickly test this app that we started in the series of how to create an API web API using .NET to see how it works in action. So this is the project hop and running. So let's test it. Let's first use Postman to test our API. Try it out. Execute. Right. So now, let's test create account endpoint. How hard? John. So then click on execute. So our record have been added. However, the moment you we stop this app, right? The app will lose the data, we lost this guy that is on our 
swagger. So that's why some people find it interesting or convenient for some people to use swagger. I beg your pardon, to use Postman because Postman will keep your data. Instead of you to input all this data all over, all over the game, anytime you want to test your data. So some people use Swagger. Some people use Postman to test their API, which I also love to use Postman. But in this case, we are not going to be using Postman. I'm going to show you how it works without leaving your ID. So let's quickly go to Postman to explain how what I'm saying, right? This is my Postman. So for example, if I want to update this record or input or add another record, what I will just do is to change the name. But if you use Swagger, the moment you stop the app, it is gone. So let's quickly see how we can use our HTTP, our .http file that we just added to test our API without leaving the ID. So guys, just click on this guy, open it, and this is weather forecast endpoint. Click on debug, or you start your app to run. So let's see how it works. See, it's running. Yes, we have a response. Okay, so let's quickly do the same thing to test the endpoint that we have in this our API, right? So let me first start with get all record. So the endpoint is API four slash account four slash get all record. Copy this. Go to my IDE. So, so let's define another endpoint. So look at these three hash. So this simply means that this is the end of each method, right? So let's define another endpoint. So this is going to be get as well. And let me find my variable. So this is my variable. And this is where we have the base URL of this app. So just passing the variable. And the variable is employee record underscore host address, right? Employee record underscore host address. Then for slash my endpoint, my endpoint, then accept equals to application. Pass like JSON, right? Just end it with this, which simply means this is the end of this method. Click on send. Oops. Command cancelled. Let's check. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, this is it. You see. The same thing that I can use Postman to do, right? So I can get it directly from my ID without leaving it, right? So guys, that's how to make a guess a get request. So now let's let's make a post request, right? We are going to Call the this post the paste URL variable for slash paste this. So the name of the method is create account take a pardon create account. So 
the content time. In this case, we are going to use content time. Let me copy it from here. Application pass as JSON. Paste it. Paste. It's going to be content type. Content type equals to this because it's a post request. Then what I'm going to do is to just define your your payload here. Save as time. Let me copy it from here. Create account. Let me copy the payload. Copy this. Take it to my ID. And then you paste. Paste it here. So then click on send request. Yeah, look at it. We have it almost immediately. It's very, very fast. Look at it being added. Okay, let's call another endpoint. Right, let's look at the next endpoint. Okay, let's go get record by ID. Okay, so let's go back to our ID. So let's create another endpoint. This is going to be a get request. Don't forget, you have to put three hash here to tell it that you have ended the, the method, right? So before you can create another endpoint. Get, bring in my environment variable, for slash API, for slash account, for slash get record by ID, for slash ID. Let's try to call this, call this, copy, paste it here, yeah. and then this is equals to Copy it from here to save our time. Okay. And then end the endpoints with this. So click on send request. Look at it. We have the record. Okay. So let's Try another endpoint. Let's try another endpoint. Okay, let's copy this. Let's use it for delete. So copy it and then just change the HTTP web, change it to delete. Delete. Then click on send request. Of a method not allowed. Oh, oh yes. So it's going to be delete record. Let me quickly confirm it. Delete. Oh yeah. It's delete record by ID. Let me grab this. I'll paste it here. Okay. Um, send request for oh, yes this has been deleted this is some analysis so by the time we call all good record it shouldn't be there send request yeah it has been removed it has been removed so the last endpoint here is so to check update record let's quickly update record Going to copy this, copy this, paste it here. Going to change this to put, put. So we want to update this all for life. 
so let's check here if you have the email yeah we want to update this so this guy will change now we have somewhere and then we have last name to be Ola. so let's change it to john and Ola to g so then click on the end point is update to record update accounts update account update account click on send record has been updated so let's get more record yeah this is it guys this is how to test your api within your id you can see why the program is still running i can still type i can still edit i can still do because it has nothing to do with my actual program that is running so this actually worked just like postman so you don't have to like have to repeat re-input whatever you want to type again just like postman so thank you guys if you enjoy this tutorial or you have learned one or two things please share this video subscribe and comment if there's any video you want me to come up with just put it in the top comment section thank you bye see you in my next tutorial